Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got my City of Bones reaction video for you all and basically this movie was the most anticipated movie for me of the year. Like I can't, you guys know how much I love the Mortal Instruments and City of Bones and I'm so excited. So the first couple of minutes of this um, review will be non-spoiler. So basically when I get into the spoiler stuff I will put something around here and I'll edit it and tell you guys that I'm starting to talk about spoilers. So if you haven't watched the movie already, you're safe for a couple of minutes. So basically, as I said, I've been anticipating this movie for so long. The trailers were amazing. I adore the cast and the movie itself, I felt to be to summarize it in a one word was incredible. So I don't think it's a spoiler to tell you that they have changed some scenes. The ending was slightly different. The way they explained certain scenes were different. And yeah, the character the characters were a lot older than in the books. But I don't think that's a spoiler because you can see that from the trailers. Um, basically, I really approved of these changes. I really liked how they shifted um, Clary's age from 16 to 18 or whatever, however old Lily Collins portrayed her. Basically, all the changes that they made in this movie were, I felt, really, really worth it. And I, I really enjoyed Harold Zwart's take on the film, that's the director. And basically, it was fast paced. The music and the score, absolutely incredible. I loved how the soundtrack was wound into the film. There were certain scenes which were, were, were like, I'm speechless, basically. Um, the ending was amazing, as I said. Um, it was slightly different, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. And basically, guys, you need to see this film. If you have seen the books, if you are a fan of the books, you need to see this film because we need to get the entire series made and the prequel series made. So you guys really need to see it, try and get as much money for the film as we can. But if you haven't read the books before, please try and see the film and see if you like it. Um, I know some people who haven't read the books didn't like the film, but I think it's because in a way the film can appear cheesy and some of the scenes are very teen. And I went with a couple, I, I've been to see the film about three times already, which I know is excessive, but um, you know, that's me, obsessive Mortal Instruments fan. And two people that I went with were kind of not really young adult readers or anything. So I, they kind of didn't enjoy it as much as I hoped they would, but they still appreciated a lot of the scenes. And I personally think that it's not like any other YA um, movie out there. I really thought that the humour in the film was really amazing and it translated from the book really well. And just the whole deliverance of the film was beautiful. The scenes that I pictured in my head were actually on the screen. And guys, honestly, I think you should go see this film now. It was absolutely beautiful. And I'm so proud that it got made. And the cast, thank you for being amazing. Because how could you possibly get what's in my head onto the screen so accurately? I don't know, but it was amazing. So guys, I'm going to start talking about spoilers from now on, um, so spoiler warning, and yes, yeah, so starting off with the spoilers. As I mentioned in the first couple of minutes, there were scenes that changed. Um, yeah, basically, the ending really confused me, all the scenes with uh, Valentine, because um, I was expecting when I went into the movie to kind of not be shocked by the changes they made but I was quite shocked in terms of Valentine it was kind of Hodge and Valentine's um trickery of Jason Clary and Hodge suggested to Valentine pretend that they're siblings which I don't think was in the book so I was quite confused at that point but I still when I went back to the cinema to see it more, like two more times I thought that the changes were really effective and they did give the movie much more of a flow. I thought the greenhouse scene was one of the best scenes in the film. It was beautiful and really well, like it translated really well from the page to the screen. And then even better by that was Demi Lovato's song Heart by Heart, which made its way into the film on that scene. And the bit where that song came into the film was, oh my God, I was literally just fangirling in my seat, which wasn't 
quite embarrassing to the people sitting next to me. So yes, um, the music itself, as I said before, was beautiful, but the scenes that I'll pick out were the scene in the Hotel de Mort where Jace and Clary and um, not Jemima, that's the actress, and Isabel and Alec were fighting all the vampires in the Hotel de Mort and the song that came on there, I think it's by Zed and it's Into the Lair or something. That song was brilliant for that scene. I didn't really anticipate that they were going to put that song into that scene. I really loved that bit. That was really high action and it was really intense to watch. And I really enjoyed all the action scenes. There were quite a lot, especially towards the end between Valentine and Jace. Like those scenes, I didn't really get all the action parts from the book, like the fighting. I didn't realise how intense it was. But then when you're watching... Oh, sorry, I'm trying to catch my breath. I'm so excited. When you're watching all the Shadow Hunters fighting, you start to realise how it is a really action driven book and it really annoys me when people say that after coming out from the film they thought it was just a cheesy young adult film and no it was high action packed and it was amazing and I just thought the flow of the film was incredible as well and I just loved the whole thing basically I know this movie review is getting quite long um but I just want to say that I love this film I realized some people didn't like it because as I said it does have this teen movie feel there are cheesy bits but you know I kind of enjoyed that it being the secret teen at heart even though I'm not a teenager anymore I really did enjoy that and all in all I loved it if you haven't seen this film yet please do it was amazing to me and as a fan of the books I honestly loved it so yes that was my review guys and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you go watch the film now and yes, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!